it's Good Friday and at the allotment today the gardening association that's based there are holding a coffee and cake morning. I've just joined the committee and they asked me if I could bake. Uh, I decided that I would do, um, because it's a gardening association based on an allotment, I would make a courgette, walnut and cinnamon layer cake. Obviously I can't cut into it at the moment to show you the inside but I have made this before and it's, um, well, pretty delicious. But for the first time ever, I've actually caramelised the walnuts. And I think they just add a little special touch to this cake as a finish. This is a view of how the cake looks on the inside. It's a little like a carrot cake, and I suppose nothing like a carrot cake. And by way of the fact that it's a courgette cake. But it's made extra special because it has this tangy Greek yogurt frosting on the outside. Lovely. I received a present last week from Kelly off my UK homestead. We were talking about Jerusalem artichokes and she very kindly sent some to me along with this lovely card. Um, really lovely sentiments. Kelly, thank you so much. And they're going, there are two of those, and they're going in today. So I'd just like to say a really brilliant, huge thank you to Kelly for her very kind generosity. It's been a fab weekend, um, Easter weekend on the allotment. Um, on Friday, obviously, I made the cake uh, for the Gardening Association at Coffee and Cake Day. Um, we had a talk in the car park by one of our senior members of the committee who's a horticulturalist and he gave us a talk on salads and uh, it was a bit like Blue Peter, he kept producing things from his boot and he actually showed us how to grow uh, watercress from, well, in a bucket um, in soil rather than in water, which was great fun and it was a bit like Gardener's Question Time. It was full of, um, People asking questions and drinking coffee, eating cake, really great day. And then on the Saturday, one of our friends who has another allotment actually brought one of his vintage cars. Uh, it was a Morris 8, so I get, got to have a little sit in it. So I'll post some photographs so you can see what I've been up to. Things are coming along on the allotment. We've done um, lots of construction work and I'm about to plant, uh, peas have gone in. I'm about to plant the sweet peas and beans. Um, potatoes have sprouted and there's lots of things happening in the greenhouse so I'll give you a little tour in a second. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wanted to talk to you today about the chilies and the peppers which I grew hydroponically. If you remember I had a really good um, successful germination and initially the plants seemed to be growing really well but then they reached an impasse where they weren't really gaining any height or strength so I decided to uh, take them out of the rock wall blocks. When I did, I found that only one or two roots had actually grown all the way through the blocks and a lot of the root system had sort of congregated around the top of the block. So I painstakingly removed every one from these little blocks that they'd grown in. And I think I can say, safely say that since then um, the plants are certainly looking stronger and they're starting to grow taller. So I don't know whether it was something I did wrong when I initially planted the seed or put the seed into the block, but I've certainly seen an improvement since they've been removed. I think you probably agree with me. The tomatoes are all waiting patiently to be planted outside. I think some of them desperately need to go out but I really just don't want to take the chance this week. Uh, the tumbling toms and patio tomatoes are actually going to go in those hanging baskets. I found those in the Gardening Association hut. They were second hand, two pounds each, so we got four. So I thought that was a result. Just want to bring you around here. Hold on. Don't you think celeriac are the most pretty little vegetable to grow? I mean, these seedlings have taken an age to get to this size. Let me just have a look on the... Yeah, 11th of the second I planted them. But they all look healthy, so I've got some more um, as a succession that I'm going to start off now. Here's the asparagus peas from Mags. They're growing well. And then everything else in the greenhouse seems to be holding its own. I've been buying plants for my father. He's frantic that I'm going to give them to him and it's going to be too early to put out. They're mainly um, osteospernums, there's some pelagoniums, and some, there's some pelagoniums, and some, I can't think what they're called now. Begonias. Begonias, of course, that's what they're called. Good morning, everyone. It's Patricia. It's 7.45 on Friday morning. Um, I'm the second one on the allotment. I thought I was here um, first, but somebody's just gone past me on a bicycle. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the plot. There's a lot been happening outside, but I've still got quite a lot inside which I'm reluctant to uh, plant out. It's one of those, isn't it, at the moment with the weather, you just don't know what to do for the best. Uh, at whether to take a chance or if anything happens, all that hard work has gone to waste. So at the moment I'm sort of biding my time and just planting out things that I know will be okay. So uh, enjoy this little look. Is there a better view for anyone that likes gardening than seeing something just ready for the season to start? I'll just talk you through the structures that we've been building. The wigwams at the front here are going to be for the tomatoes. So I'm going to plant some marigolds and calendula and basil up the centre of the wigwams and then obviously the tomatoes along the outside. So beyond that, we've got one for the beans. We've taken Alan's advice, Alan from Dawn Chorus Plot, and crossed the bamboo canes lower down in order to 
try and train the beans up so that they'll hang away from the bamboo and help with picking. You can see the two cloches um, there for the brassicas. There we go. And in front of those, we've got a trellis with sweet peas. Uh, hiding behind purple sprouting broccoli, we've a row of broad beans, and I think I've shown you those before. And then beyond the wigwam, we've got another trellis that's actually housing the peas or supporting the peas. Our objective has been to try and create a landscape of varying heights um, so that we can um, add a little bit of privacy to the seating area which is outside the shed but also so that there's added bits of interest where you walk past something and can't really see what's on the other side until you get there. It's not traditional allotment planting by any standard um, but that's not exactly what I was trying to achieve. We've got a little coal frame there with a shower door on top, just a temporary measure while we've got some things hardening off inside. Uh, the potatoes have started to sprout. don't know if you'll see them from here. There we go. I did record a video earlier when it was sunny, but for some reason I lost it. Now it's raining quite heavily out there, so I decided I'd just do a little bit of filming from the shed. kettle's just started to boil, ready for my coffee and I'll leave you there for now. <laughs> 